as we get closer and closer to the re-release of multiverses in 2024 i thought it'd be a great and a fun idea to go over my top 10 character wish list characters that i really want to see in the game take it one step at a time What's up my dudes, One Step here and welcome back to another Multiverses video. Yes, today we're going over my top 10 character wish list. Now this is a wish list, so I don't want to hear in the comments, oh, well, you know this company doesn't have the rights to this character, but I, I, I don't care. This is a wish list, meaning I would love to see these characters in the game. Now, I will say I understand that there are some characters here that probably have a better chance to appear than others, but the idea of the character being in the game is so cool. Also, let me state that there are dozens, if not hundreds of characters that could be in the game, and it was so hard to narrow it down to just 10. There are many, many, many more characters that I wanna see. These are just the first and the top 10 for me. As we get into the list, let me know down below what characters do you wanna see come to multiverses and who makes it to your wish list. In no particular order, my first character that I wanna see is Harry Potter. Now, a lot of these characters, of course, are under the WB umbrella, and that does include Harry Potter. Now, I think Harry Potter would be likely if they were to bring a Harry Potter character. Of course, he's the main character. I would love to see multiple, maybe Harry Potter and Voldemort or Harry Potter and Dumbledore. Either way, to have Harry Potter or any wizard from the wizarding world would be just so much fun. All the spells they could do, all the abilities they could have just makes for an absolute blast and I think would be a great addition to multiverses. Another one might seem a bit far-fetched, but hear me out, Yu-Gi-Oh! I absolutely love Yu-Gi-Oh! And if you are like me, you grew up playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon, all all the stuff. And for those that don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh was actually on Kids WB back in the day. So it technically is under the WB umbrella. Imagine Yu-Gi-Oh using the Dark Magician or all the other cards that they could pull, spell cards, trap cards, in a fighting game like Multiverses. Oh man, that'd be so sick. Another character that I know a lot of other people want, including myself, is Ben 10. Ben 10 would be amazing in Multiverses. Think about all the aliens, all the shifts he could do in his moveset, in his kit, all the abilities that his aliens would give him would maybe make him a bit complex, but I think way worth it. It would be such a cool addition. Another one that I really think about is Powerpuff Girls. Now, on the surface, you might be like, okay, like whatever, Powerpuff Girls. But think about it, the Powerpuff Girls are technically three. So they could like maybe swap out to different Powerpuff Girls. Like you switch to Bubbles and she's got her own abilities. And each Powerpuff Girl has different things they can do as a character. Again, kind of sounding a bit complex, but I think they would be awesome. Now, as we're under the WB umbrella, how would we have a fighting game if we did not include any other WB reps like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat or even Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat. Oh, you know what? Why not both? I've always wanted to see Scorpion or Sub-Zero or any Mortal Kombat rep be a guest character in any other fighting game. And it would be so cool to see them in multiverses. Now, I know they would be like ripping off heads or pulling out spines and stuff, but still, Scorpion has the Hellfire, the Spear, the Teleporting. Sub-Zero has the Ice Clone, the Ice Ball to freeze your opponent. Awesome setup and combo potential. I just want to see some Mortal Kombat rep in multiverses somehow, some way. The next two are a bit unorthodox, but again, remember, Remember, this is a wish list characters that I wish were in the game. And on my list, we have Jack and Dexter. Now, a couple of reasons why I think they make a great addition to multiverses is first, the nostalgia. I grew up playing Jack and Dexter, Ratchet and Clank games like that. But Jack and Dexter, they have so many weapons they can implement in their moves. And of course, Jack has the dark and the light eco that could absolutely change his moveset, change his abilities. And if done right, I think would be amazing. In the same vein, I think Sly Cooper would also make a great addition to a character in multiverses. I think he would be a bit more on the simple side, which is not a bad thing at all. No crazy abilities, just some fun thieving around. Maybe implement Bentley or any of the other characters in the moveset, but Sly Cooper being a standard fighter, kind of like Harley Quinn or Batman maybe, I think they could easily do and he would be awesome to see. They've done Iron Giant, so why not do Optimus Prime? You might argue that the characters are too similar, thus their movesets might be too similar, but I would argue that they would be so different. Yes, they're both giant robots, I get it, but Iron Giant already has very distinct moves and abilities, and Optimus Prime, of course, would have the ability to transform into the truck, back into the Autobot form. The possibilities are endless and Optimus Prime would be so cool. I would love to see Optimus Prime fight Iron Giant and that fight would be crazy. Now I know we already have some DC reps in the game, but I am a big DC fan. So I just want more and more and more. And part of that more is I would love to see Beast Boy as a DC fan and a fighting game fan. I've always wanted to see Beast Boy in some kind of fighting game, especially the Injustice series, but we never got him in Injustice. So what better time to shine than putting him in multiverses. It's cartoony, it's whimsy, it's fun. Beast Boy would fit in perfectly. We have Jake transforming into cars and stuff and stretching. Why 
not give Beast Boy a couple animal forms? Gorilla, Lion, Giraffe, T-Rex, whatever. I just want to see Beast Boy in a fighting game so bad. I've been wanting Beast Boy in a fighting game for so long. And I think Multiverses is the perfect chance to do so. Now, the last one might throw you off a little bit, but I am a bit biased when it comes to this character because I'm a massive Aquaman fan. And I loved Aquaman way before the movies. I've loved Aquaman for so long. I was an Aquaman main in Injustice, and they did a great job on his character, his moveset. And you might be thinking one step, out of all the DC characters to bring the multiverses, why would they do Aquaman? And I see your point, because I know he's not like the most loved DC character, but in the beta, and I mean before the game was an open beta, in the closed beta, I don't have a picture of it, but there was a ring out effect that was tridents coming out and water waves all around them. So they kind of already hinted at Aquaman being in the game somehow, some way. I personally see them doing the entire Justice League, you know, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, the Flash, Green Lantern. They could and should do them all. If the roster is going to be as big as we hope it's going to be, there's no reason not to. And Aquaman is probably my most desired character out of everybody. There are so many characters that I want to see in multiverses. These were just my top 10. So guys, let me know down below what characters do you want to see? What characters do you agree or disagree with from my list? Let me know all your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more fighting game and more multiverses content. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, just take it one step at a time.